Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about horses, but my project partner Kendall Drake will not be able to assist me during this video because she is babysitting today. So I'll be reading my information that I completed and the information that she completed in this video. So let's get started. To start off, I'm going to be reading the definitions of radiation, convection, and conduction. Radiation is the process in which energy is emitted as particles or waves. Conduction is the process by which heat or electricity is directly transmitted through a substance when there is a difference of temperature or electrical potential between adjoining regions. And convection is the movement caused within a fluid by the tendency of hotter and therefore less dense material is to rise and colder and denser material is to sink under the influence of gravity. Next, I will be telling you that horses are endotherms. The difference between endotherms and exotherms is that endotherms are warm-blooded animals, meaning that they maintain a constant body temperature, typically above their surroundings. Exotherms are cold-blooded animals, meaning that having a batting temperature varying with that environment. Horses are located in the grasslands. The grasslands receive about 20 to 35 inches of precipitation a year in the form of rain. The four main grasslands around the globe are located in Africa, North America, South America, and Eurasia. The grasslands receive moderate solar radiation. Next, I will be telling you how horses use radiation, convection, and conduction. So the way they use conduction is the cold water being sprayed on the horses that I will insert a pic of at the end of this video is its way of cooling its body temperature down. The way that horses use convection is when they sweat, it helps cool them down by creating a cool blanket over its body to keep them from overheating. The way horses use radiation is when they're too cold, they stand in the sun so they can heat up. So I thought it would be nice to include some fun facts about wild horses. So here are some. Horses can run shortly after they've given birth, so which is pretty cool. Um, domestic horses have a lifespan of 25 years. Um, horses have around 205 bones in their body. Horses have been domestic for over 5,000 years, and because their eyes are on their sides, they are capable of seeing 360 degrees at one time. To conclude this video, I'm going to be showing pictures of radiation, conduction, and convection, and the horses using all of them. And horses, like, in their habitat, just having fun, running. Thanks for watching.